Morning, morning, morning. I'm in a really good mood today. Um, so, I feel a lot better. Um, I still don't feel 100%. Weirdly, my my nostril situation, if you didn't know I was a bit ill early this week, like for four days, I just didn't do anything. Um, and weirdly, I woke up this morning and I have a bit of a snotty nose and I'm like, this was gone. Why has it come back? So that's a bit annoying, but luckily I don't have any orders to make. Um, we're doing postals, new postals, um, but like my family's going to be eating them and I'm washing my hands and like I'm not like snotty, I just have a block nose. But yeah, um, so I think we're good to bake, I don't think they'll mind, because um, my mum's birthday party is tomorrow. Um, so. I'm making a cake for the birthday party, which I'm going to do a live later, so you will see that later, but it'll probably be after this has gone up, or maybe before, so um, you might not know about it, or you might already, I don't know, I don't know what I'm trying to say. Anyway, um, <clears throat> so, we're baking my mum's cake for tomorrow, it's, it is one of those wave cakes where people add the butterflies on, because I really want to try it, and I think she'll love it. She wants a really simple cake, which is why I've gone for this. Um, she initially wanted something that was like strawberries on top and like naked cake and I was just like I want to make it a bit more special than that because she was like oh you know I just want to keep it simple and I was like Jules I think we should do something more and then she was like oh just give me a surprise so I was like okay you've told me so I'm gonna now so I'm gonna go for something a bit more um, she loves butterflies it's her favourite thing so um, I'm gonna include those so we're gonna try it it's my first time doing it so fingers crossed it goes right I've been watching loads of little reels um, she doesn't do YouTube or anything but there's Joel Jacobs treats on Instagram you'll probably know her she's like the queen of postals and she does loads of these wave cakes and also Shannon's cakes and I've been watching theirs trying to figure out how they do it so fingers crossed we work it out and it's good so that's the um, cake that we're doing and we're also doing postals so for postals we're gonna be trying some new recipes um, there's gonna be three videos filmed today which is gonna be super confusing when I actually look at all this footage because it's gonna be all jumbled up but we are going to be trying Finch Bakery recipes. So that is what we are doing in this video, um, if you were confused. So we're trying three recipes from here. I'm going to mix and match the flavours a little bit to see whether I can change them. Because obviously I am going to be making three lots of things. But I'm thinking maybe I can make more flavours from them and try them out. Um, and then it means I don't have to make another batch. So I'm going to use the leftovers, I'm going to post them as spares, but if they don't sell, then I was thinking I can use them for the party tomorrow to get rid of them, because I'm on a diet. So um, yeah, we're going to be trying normal cookies, like normal kind of chunky ones, and then we're going to be trying stuffed cookies. Some are going to be cookie dough stuff, some are going to be, um, I wanted to do Oreo stuff, and also Reese's, so that's the plan. Um, and then we're going to be trying some blondies, because everyone keeps asking me to bring blondies back. And I wanted to try their recipe because they look super fudgy, which is what I've been trying to find. Um, so yes, that is the plan for today. And then we're also going to make some brownies, which will be included in the postals video. Um, so what I'm going to do is this video, just to solidify it all for you, if you were, again, confused because I'm rambling because I've been ill. So I'm like, I need to chat to someone because I've been bored all week. Um... But basically, this video is going to be actually trying the recipes, baking them. Then the postals video for my new postal menu is going to be decorating, like taking photos um, and just making them all look pretty and explaining all the new flavours and everything. And then I will be going live to decorate the cake. Lots of videos today. So I hope that you're not tired of me after 4 minutes and 26 seconds of me rambling. Um, and we're going to get on with it. So... Yeah, as usual, if you don't like my talking, don't watch me because we've said it before and we'll say it again. I am a rambler, so we are going to get right into it. I am going to show you the recipes in a second and then we're going to start baking. My mum is out to get eggs <laughs> for her own cake um, and butter because I'm going to be using all the eggs and butter in these recipes. So yeah, let's get right into it. So, recipes. We are going to be doing the cookie dough stuffed cookies. So you, if you have the book, this is what it looks like. But if you have the book, you turn to page 20 and that has the recipe for the edible cookie dough, which we are going to be using in said cookies. 
Then um, we have, oh my God, I am not okay. I've had a coffee, that's why I don't normally drink coffee. Um, we've got the Lotus stuffed cookies, but these are quite flat um, because I wanted one that's a bit flatter. And then we have the cookie dough stuffed, which look a bit more beefy. And I'm also gonna do the Oreo ones and also I think Reese's, we'll see. Um, but there's also gonna be some other flavors, which I've decided on because I wanted them to be a bit like ones that I like. Then, the last one is the loaded white chocolate blondies. Please excuse the dog barking. My parents have obviously gone out and their puppy is suffering from separation anxiety. Um, but yeah, so this is the last thing. So we're gonna start weighing out all the ingredients. I'll put you on time lapse and I hope you enjoy. If you haven't already, please like, subscribe, hit the bell and comment how much you hate my talking. Thank you. We are starting with loaded chocolate blondies. So we're gonna do white chocolate. Um, I think I might do a mix. I might do two trays um, and then do two different flavors. So yes, this is hopefully how they're gonna look. We will see. This is how it's looking so far. This is the blondie mix. It looks pretty perfect, if you ask me. So as long as it bakes right, I'm gonna say that this recipe is a good one. Um, I'm gonna add some white chocolate chips and then we're gonna split it into, I think it will do three trays of the foil trays. If it doesn't, then we'll just do two, but I'm gonna split it into different flavors um, just because when I take photos for the website, it's obviously better if I get more flavor options. So I'm gonna just put the white chocolate chips in there and then split it into its um, respective trays and then do the flavors to match. So yes. And it's looking nice and pale as well because sometimes blondie mixes look a bit too brown and then they're quite dark. Um, and it's also not really watery. So yeah, it looks quite good.
Right, they're about to go in the oven. Um, I am hoping that they turn out good. So far, I like the recipe. The only thing that I'm not keen on, which I've seen with other recipes being the opposite, is it's a thicker recipe. Um, usually when I do blondies, they're quite watery, so it means that when you're mixing, it's a lot easier to mix in all your toppings. So we have caramel with caramel nibbles inside the chocolate ones. Then we've got Biscoff, and then we have um, Jammy Dodger with raspberry jam. But I found that the jam was really hard to mix. Usually if the mixture is a bit more watery, then you can. Um, but we'll see how they turn out, because obviously it's, if they turn out like perfect, then obviously it's just something that you get used to. Um, I'm just used to like my brownie recipe being a little bit more watery, so then it means you can mix stuff. So I'm going to shove those in the oven. And then I'm going to bake my mum's cake, um, so you won't see any of that because that's not in this video. But um, yeah, I'm going to do that while these are in the oven. So I'm going to mix up that and put it in all the tins. And then we're going to start on one of the other recipes, probably one of the cookies. So we're having to do the blondies again. As you can see, this is a lot looser of a mix it's more watery which is what i prefer very similar to my brownies so i'm hoping that this works better so basically the last one it was a lot stiffer um so i've made a few changes to the recipe just to see whether it makes a difference and for some reason my oven i did it for the exact time that it was meant to the exact um like degrees and everything but for some reason one side burnt and then the other side was just overcooked so I'm not sure if there's something wrong with my oven, so it's being temperamental, but as you can see, they are, they're burnt, they're very overcooked. However, they were very, like, thick in terms of the consistency before they even went in the oven. So they look a lot more cakey, which is because they've been in there for too long. But I have a feeling that even if they were in there for the right amount of time, they would still not be quite right. So I'm hoping that because this is very watery, it means that it comes out the way I want. So we have a Biscoff one, which is not too overcooked. I'm gonna cut it and see what it looks like. But we're doing two new ones, which is the Caramel and the Jammy Dodger. So we will see how those turn out. So I just used the cookie dough um, recipe on page 20. And this is how it's turned out. I've never made edible cookie dough, but I think it looks pretty good. Um, it said if it's too stiff, then to add some milk i added some milk anyway um because i actually mixed it wrong however i think it's turned out really good as you can see it's not too stiff like you can move it um i've put a mixture of milk and white chocolate chips in there it did say milk chocolate but you can obviously choose and then it wanted you to do the butter and the sugar before but I just added everything in. But like I say, it turned out the same. So I think we're good. And this is the filling for the cookies. Um, the blondies are currently in the oven, the new ones. So fingers crossed they come out okay. The cake came out fine. So I think it was just a mishap with the oven. But this is the filling. So I believe we put this in the fridge. And then we just put it into balls when we are ready to actually stuff the cookies. So yes, that is the filling done. I'm also going to fill some of them with, um, what is it called? With Oreos, and then I'm going to do a mix. So what I was thinking is the leftover cookie dough, I can use it in brownies, and then I can do a cookie dough brownie as a new flavour. So yes, that is currently how much we've got. It's quite a big bowl, so we, I did six portions. I did half of what the recipe actually recommends. So yes, we're going to start making the cookie dough mix now and then I will show you once we're at that point.
So I've made our little cookie dough balls um, and then this is our actual cookie mix. I didn't realise that I needed to put it in the freezer for an hour. It's been in the fridge so they are a bit firmer than they would be normally. But I'm going to put them in the freezer. I'm going to see for like 30, 45 minutes and see how they go. Um, and then these I'm going to just weigh out into the six portions so that they're ready to go. And then once these come out then I can then actually stuff them and then I think they go straight in the oven after that so they these are the bits that need to go in the freezer um not the actual main mix so yeah it's just the filling that you're putting in the freezer six balls so what I did is I weighed the mix and then I just divided it by six and that's what I got so I just aimed for that amount um, so I'm gonna put these in the fridge it doesn't say to do that but I feel like they need to go in the fridge um, so and it's not too cold in there so I think it'll be fine and then once the cookie dough is out of the freezer then I'll get them out the fridge again um, because yeah as you can see they're quite like not wet but they're quite soft I guess so I just want to make sure that they don't stay too soft because I think they're meant to go in the fridge for a little while. So yes, we're going to shove those in the fridge and then I'm probably going to start on my brownies, which I already know my recipe and that's what I'm going to be using, but that's just for another postal item. So I'll do those off camera and then show you the final product when I get to personalising them. So I just got my cookie dough out the freezer, it's been in there for an hour and then these have been in the fridge so we split these in half and put the cookie dough inside. I'm also going to quickly shove these in the freezer, these shouldn't take as long because they're smaller. Um, and then we're going to stuff two each with Oreos and Biscoff and then what I'm going to do is when I take final photos so that I get the most out of all the photos, I'm going to take photos with them with just chocolate drizzle and that will be the cookie dough stuffed ones and then I will take the ones that aren't um, cookie dough filling and then so that I can get a box of six basically of them all looking the same and then I'm going to take the ones that are actually stuffed with like Biscoff or Oreo and then I'm going to drizzle the respective toppings and then I'm going to cut them in half and get a photo of the inside same with the cookie dough so it means I'll have one box to show how they're going to come because they'll all look the same and then I can take some photos of the two of each flavour just so that you get the most because I don't want to be making like ridiculous amounts of cookies when I don't need them so that is the plan so I'm going to quickly shove these back in the freezer whilst I'm doing the others so I'm just leaving it on a bit of parchment and we'll just pop that in the freezer so I just want to make sure I'm doing this right so I've put the roll them into balls split each ball in half So we're just going to roughly do it in half and then um, press the two halves together with the cookie dough in the middle and form a ball. So I've seen people do this before so I'm going to make them into kind of like little halves so that when I actually put the cookie dough in there we can kind of cover it. Right, they look so cool! I've literally never made cookies like this. I've always made the like chewy ones, so I'm so excited. Um, as you can see, they look really big. It says to press them down at the end, but I don't know how I'm going to press them down because the cookie dough is like frozen. So we're just going to repeat that. So I have two halves. I think I might leave the Biscoff ones. I'm thinking maybe do um, the cookie dough and then I don't want to have too many flavours like to start off with. I can add the Biscoff at a later date um, or just not get photos of them. I don't know. 
I'm trying to decide what people would like more because obviously they're for a party tomorrow. So, um, and also I can use this cookie dough. So I can use it for like brownies as a new flavour. So I think we're good with those. Uh, okay, let's stick to the original plan. Um, so, I, literally the others have been in the fridge for literally like five seconds. I'm going to do all the halves of these so that they're ready. Then I'm going to get the spread out the freezer. And then we're going to put a cookie and then put the spread on top. And then that's what we're going to stuff them with. I'm making sure to keep them all together so that we have the right weight of um, cookie. So keep all the halves in pairs, basically. Okie dokie. Um, so we have four. To be fair, even though one of them, one the biscoff is a little bit shiny, but even though they've only been in there for a couple of minutes, they've already firmed up a little bit. But unfortunately, I don't have time to wait any longer. So we're going to do it like that, and then I'm going to like so. I'm so excited. I really hope these turn out well because I've been wanting to do cookies forever. And I really want to start doing them as postals. I really want to up my postal menu because as much as I love doing cakes, I really like having postals and I want to do more than I'm currently doing. So I'm really hoping that I can expand quite a lot. I want to do like cookie pies and all sorts. But they will be all um, like either a mix box or it won't be ever individuals, I don't think, because I'm not I don't think I have the custom yet, at least um, to be doing, you know, like when people sell literal like you can buy an individual cookie so that you can buy lots of different ones. Um, but I don't think I'll be doing that anytime soon, because then that means that if someone just orders one, then I have to make one which I can't do, so yeah. I'm just thinking I'm gonna have to put these on the tray in a certain order so that I know which one's which, because they all look the same. Right, last one. Honestly, I can't stop saying it, but I'm so excited. I think these, fingers crossed, are gonna taste delicious. Right, I'm just joining the edges on this last one. Right, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put them on a baking tray and I'm going to use parchment and then I'm going to write on it to show what flavours they are. Right, so, cookie dough, I think I can only fit four on here, and Biscoff, or maybe two, god, I don't want to squeeze them and then they end up ruining each other, so, you're meant to flatten them slightly, these obviously have, um, what do you call it, <laughs> they've got cookie dough in them, so they don't really... They don't really flatten because the cookie dough is frozen. Um, but we'll go with that. So these are um, cookie dough. Right, 
Right, so we have Biscoff, Biscoff, and then Oreo and Oreo. Where's my pen? Right guys, it is a lot later in the day. Um, you would have seen me making various things. Um, I still don't know what the final like verdict is on these things that I've made because I haven't tried them yet. Um, but we have the cake bait, so I'm gonna stack that now off camera so that it's ready for the live tonight. Um, I have also baked the brownies. We did cream egg and mini egg flavor so that i can what i'm going to do is i'm going to cut them up take photos of them um for individuals um as a flavor for um a mix box um so you can order it up until easter so that will be one product and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to place them all together and then i'm going to do my chocolate coating on the top um which is just going to be solid it's not going to be drizzle and then i'm going to do all the personalized um style so that you can see different messages that you can put on there i want people to be as like crazy as possible you can literally put anything um it can be rude it can be swear words but i don't mind so i'm gonna do that to give people some ideas of what they can send people on a slab um but i'm gonna do that so i can push them back together so we get more photos so that i'm not wasting more brownies the cookies the stuffed cookies they're in the oven, they're beeping now. Let me just turn that off because I'll only be like two seconds. Um, and then my dinner is also on the grill. Um, and then the blondies came out, they look okay. So blondies are just, this is why I don't make them because I have like a love-hate relationship with them. So they look nice like they look good i haven't cut them yet because obviously i wanted to take photos of them as a tray before i cut them so i haven't been able to see the inside so i decorated them as if they're fine and then it means that if they are fine then i'll use the photos um which i will show you because i haven't taken them yet i'll show you when i'm like setting up photos and everything um so i don't know if they're fine yet but for some reason i feel like it's the foil trays I don't know why, but I feel like with blondies, this seems to always happen, where they cook more around the outside than they do in the centre. Don't know if anyone else has this. I have tried putting it on a lower heat. Um, the second batch, I cooked them on 160, and it is a fan oven, and they were still a little bit more brown around the edge, so I don't know if anyone has any recommendations for that. I'm not set on like using the foil trays. I don't have to use the foil trays. I can do them as just individuals rather than a tray bake, but it's just weird. I don't know why. Um, so I'm hoping that when I cut them, they're good but obviously if they're not like fudgy that's what i want and what's annoying is like the photos in the recipe book and i've followed it to a t they show really fudgy blondies and they tell you to cook them for 25 minutes and i put them in for 22 and i was like these are going to be cakey like you can tell because if they rise then you can kind of tell so um yeah I don't know what I'm doing wrong, but if I have to try this recipe a third time tomorrow, I will because I am making blondies and yeah, I am not settling for anything less than perfect. So if they aren't right, then they will go in the bin and then um, it, like, if they're not edible, obviously, um, and then we will try again. So yeah, that's the update. Um, the cookies look good so far, they look really good, so um, I'm going to take them out now because I've been talking for a minute and they've been done for a minute. So yeah, um, I will see you in a little while. Right, so we are doing milk chocolate stuffed cookies. So these are milk chocolate chip and then they've got like a vanilla base rather than the double chocolate where it's like two lots of chocolate, like chocolate dough as well as the chocolate chips. Um, so I'm going to shove these in the fridge for a little while and then we're going to put the cookie dough stuffing that I had left over in four of them and then in the other two 
I think I'm going to try and do something caramelly. I'm going to have a little look in my drawer and see what flavours I can come up with. Because these are obviously lighter coloured ones. So I want to do cookie dough in both the double chocolate and the just standard. But I also want to come up with another flavour for this lighter cookie. Um, because it's a bit more savoury I find because it's not double chocolate. So I need to come up with an idea for what the other two are going to be. But yeah, I'm going to shove them in the fridge and the cookie dough is still in the freezer, so that's fine. Right, guys. I'm just finishing off my dinner because my sister had a wedding trial and I didn't want the woman to come through and see my dinner because, honestly, it's pretty depressing. Um, it's shocking. So, I don't think I'm meant to have a cheat meal tonight. I think that's my coach sent me a voice note and i'm pretty sure it said not tonight um and then i get one next week i'm hoping that's what he meant because i need one next week if i'm not having one tonight so i plan to have cod fiber i was really looking forward to it but i'm not um and i don't have stuff in the fridge because i didn't know that i was having a normal meal tonight so i have the right amount of sausages and then i'm having rice because i didn't eat lunch i just forgot this always happens but i just forgot so um because i completely forgot to have lunch i would usually have rice at lunch so i'm having it now um and also i didn't have my afternoon snack or anything so yeah i just completely forgot to eat so i'm having a bit of a mismatch dinner um and i didn't want her bride to see this because honestly it looks terrible but um so i'm eating it now and it's probably cold anyway um so basically you know what i was talking about the cookies also apologies i know i'm like jumping back and forth but i'm on my second coffee and for some reason my eyes are watering i'm just a mess um so i'm a little bit hyper so that's why my thoughts are like a thousand miles an hour but basically i was saying about the cookies being a bit flat and your girl didn't read the recipe so apologies finch bakery because it's not on you if this second batch also flattens then maybe that is on you but basically i preheated the oven to 180 and then because my oven's being a bit weird today and overcooking things, what I've been doing is I've been putting it down, like I've been preheating it and then I've been putting it down to like 170, 160 um, opposed to 180. So putting it down by like 10, 15 degrees because it keeps like slightly overcooking stuff. I don't know what's wrong with it. It's only happened today. Um, literally, I use it every day. So I don't know what's been going on with it. Um, so yeah, and they came out flatter. And that's because a bit like when you cook cupcakes, I cook cupcakes on 160 and that's so that you get flat top. Same with um, cakes, I cook cakes on 170 so that you get more of a flat top. And then it means that when you come to decorating them, it's a lot easier. You have to cut less off and you don't get that like horrible rise. Um, so then I looked at the recipe book because I was like, maybe they need to go in the fridge, like maybe, or like the freezer, maybe I'm missing something because I put the cookie dough in the freezer. And then I looked at the recipe and it said that they need to be 220. So if you think, I had it on 170 for 12 minutes. So that's why they flattened because they weren't high enough. Like you need the outside to cook. So that's why you have them on that high because the outside will cook, which means that they won't spread and then it will start cooking the inside whereas mine because it was too low the outside had time to spread before it was cooked so i completely get it now and i'm really hoping that the second batch works so we're doing a lighter batch because i thought it gives me two lots of photos i mean i still like the way they look i don't think i've shown you them yet but they're just a bit flatter they're not like the ball style cookies um they, I mean, they look like the photo, which is a bit weird considering I cooked them on the wrong setting. So we'll see what these other ones look like because the cookie dough stuffed ones um, are a lot more ball-like in the photo. Whereas these look like the Nutella stuffed ones and like those type where they're a bit flatter, but they're still quite chunky um, and they taste nice. So we can still eat them tomorrow. The cookie dough ones, the cookie dough is like really moist because obviously they were cooked on the wrong setting. So, and the cookie dough is edible because it doesn't have any eggs in it. So that can't be like undercooked at all. And the rest of the cookie is fine. The cookie dough ones are just falling apart. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna leave the other ones um, as they are 
because they look like the photo that I was working off of and they're stuffed with um, Biscoff biscuits and Oreos so I can keep those as they are and then take photos of them and everything and then what I'm gonna do is redo the cookie dough ones in the other flavor which is the white um, cookie rather than the double chocolate and then just take some photos and yeah I can still use the photos um, obviously the cookie dough stuffed ones won't look like the white versions or like the vanilla versions um, so I can just say that there's a double chocolate flavor and then when I actually make them again for an order or something then I can take photos um, but yeah so it's not the end of the world it's actually going okay um, so sorry I just licked my fork on camera I don't know why I did that it had sauce on it so that's why I did it but it was just a bit weird for you guys um, so yeah and the brownies are done the brownies look good cream egg and mini egg what we're gonna do as well um, because I've got six cookies of the vanilla and I only have four bits of cookie dough left what I'm going to do is the other two are gonna be cream egg stuffed so that's the other flavor I'm gonna do so there's gonna be cookie dough um, cream egg and it's gonna be an either flavor and then um, the flatter cookies will be Biscoff and Oreo because they're a bit flatter and I mean the next time I bake them they might be a bit bigger and then I can retake all the photos um, but yeah and it depends how these the, if these vanilla ones I know I'm going on and on about this but I'm really passionate about getting these cookies right um, but if the vanilla ones turn out really chunky then I might just remake the um, double chocolate versions because if I know that they're going to go right, because it's exactly the same recipe, you just change, you just add a bit of cocoa powder in instead of flour. So the rest of the recipe is the same. So if it's going to work, it's going to work. So yes, we will see. But the the oven is on at 210 because I don't want to do it at 220 because, like I say, the oven's running a bit high at the moment. Um, so we're raring to go. I just need to stuff them after I've eaten my horrible dinner, and then. Um, we will get them in there and fingers crossed they'll turn out the way I want them to. So we have the blondies I haven't cut yet because I need to take photos of them. Um, so I'm going to do that now. I'm going to take photos of them after I've eaten. And then I'm going to cut them and fingers crossed they'll be a bit fudgy. If they're not, I will remake them because I am getting this right. Um, the party isn't till uh, midday tomorrow. So I'm thinking that I can do a few bits in the morning if I need to. Um, but I'll probably just like finish off this video anyway because it's 7 p.m. and you're probably wondering where it is if you're on my Instagram um, and I also need to do a live tonight so people I know people are waiting for that because I've had a few few messages um, from my lovely lovely fans so um, or like watchers I guess not fans like watchers I don't know what's better um, but yeah I've had a few messages asking about the live so it will be coming tonight um, I'm hoping around eight but that might be a bit optimistic might be a bit might be half eight we'll see uh, my mum's out as well so it's a good time to do it because she's out so she's not going to see it so that's the update i'm going to eat my dinner and finish my black coffee and then we will get the cookies in the oven and then hopefully they'll turn out the way i want them to i might also do cookie cups tonight um because i wanted to try three recipes i was going to do lotus uh cookies but they're very similar to the ones I've already made. It's the same recipe, but you just swap out the filling. So I don't think I need to make those. I thought it was a completely different recipe, but it's not. So we're gonna see how it goes, but I will keep you updated.
So what I realized is um, obviously when you're doing cookie dough stuffed, I don't know if anyone would actually buy it in this flavor because I realized that you're putting um, the same type, like you're putting cookie dough inside a cookie and obviously the cookie dough is a different texture and it doesn't have any egg in it so it doesn't sort of bake the same. Um, but you're putting it inside of the same flavor because this is also a pale um, cookie, like vanilla based cookie. So that makes more sense because you're putting it in a chocolate cookie. So we'll see, but I'm going to offer both um, if they all turn out fine. Um, but yeah, so I decided to make two more chocolate. So all I did was just added cocoa powder to the mix um, that I'd already made. So I didn't waste any. And then here we on this tray we have the cream egg. So as you can see they're not as big because the cream eggs are smaller. And then these are big because they've got the cookie dough inside. So we're going to shove them in the oven for 12 minutes on 220. And hopefully they turn out the way I want them to. Right guys, look at us all well lit with a ring light for once. So, as you just saw, I was cutting the blondies. Considering my oven overcooked them slightly, um, I think that they're actually on the right track. So I think if they were cooked to the right point that I wanted them cooked to, because like the caramel one, I can tell by the top of it that it's a little bit too, like it's not brownie like where the top is a little bit soft. Um, it's more of like a cake top. Um, let me show you. So, let me get a piece out. But, as you can see, in the middle, you can't see it on the outside, which is where it's slightly overcooked. Um, but on the middle, you can see it's got that fudgy bit, where it looks solid. And that is exactly what we want. Um, you can see it more on the Jammy Dodger one, but that's because they are more of a wet flavour because of the jam. So can you see where that line goes down there? This darker section, that is where it's more fudgy. So we're gonna do a little taste test now, um, but basically I'm happy with the recipe. So I've taken photos of these two and then I can add the other flavors and then what I'll do, I'm not sure if it's my oven or it's the amount of time. They recommend you do it for 25 minutes, which I, Thing is quite long for blondies whenever i've done blondies i always wanted them more like close to the 22 mark so i'm thinking that i will do them for 22 minutes these were 24 because i didn't want to do them for 25 i was like they look done so i'm going to take them out a bit early and then if anything i could have probably taken it off but like i say it might be my oven you might find you do this recipe and they come out perfect um, but even with the Jane's Patisserie ones that I've tried before, I always found that I needed to put them in for less. So maybe it's just my oven. But we are going to do a little taste test. But that is lovely and fudgy, which is exactly what we want. There you go. Nice bit of fudginess there. So yes. Oh, I'm so excited! That is, that is what I want. Okay, the fudgy bit, I haven't tried the outside, I mean it might be fine, but that fudgy bit in the middle, when I've had blondies from big postal businesses, a bit like Cape Tin Bakery, if you follow them, where they post all over the UK and they really like, they bake them regularly, that's what they taste like. And they taste really good. 
so i'm really happy with that um obviously like i say there's going to be trial and error whenever you try any recipe you're always going to have to amend things um but i really like those i'm obviously going to amend the timings um so yeah i think i also added slightly less flour because i found that it made them less um thick because they were so the mix was so thick that i couldn't even spread it on the tin um but again maybe that's my ingredients or it could be it could literally be anything it could be the size of your eggs because obviously um if it says large eggs and your eggs are only medium then you're gonna get less liquid so it could be that it could literally be anything that's the thing with recipes but i think that they are really nice i really like that and it's so fudgy so happy so um, I'm not going to eat any more because I want to get some photos of that flavour, but we can have a little try of the caramel. So, I want to get a bit of Rolo, but I also want to get a bit of the fudginess to make sure I've, that Rolo just said no to being cut in half. Right. <clears throat> As you can see, if it'll focus, stop trying to focus on me, it's all fudgy. There, you can see there's a few more air bubbles, which is where it's a bit more like a sponge. And then again here, it's fudgy. So like I say, I think if it was left in, I would say maybe 20 minutes. What did I leave them in for? 24, 24. So if I did them for 22, I think it would be good. Um, I think the Jammy Dodger, I could leave at maybe 23, 24, as it is, because the top of it isn't the same as this. Like I say, different flavors come out differently. The Jammy Dodger, because it's got the jam, which makes it very, um, like, moist on the inside. I hate that word, but that's what it makes it. Um, it means that it keeps the inside a bit more, like, fudgy, like that. But because this flavour is caramel, so it's got caramel chocolate chips and then it's got caramel sauce. The caramel sauce isn't um, as moist as jam is. Because jam, like, it melts in the oven, but it doesn't cook like it just stays melted so i find that the flavor is always a bit more like wet whereas the caramel the sauce doesn't get any more liquidy than it already is so i find that any f other flavor basically apart from ones with jam in they need less time than the jam so yeah but that looks lovely and fudgy so let's give it a go i want this caramel nibble I love it I'm so happy like literally everything that I need to change about it is so easy like it's literally like a minute off the oven time the decoration is fine um I like doing drizzle because I see so many people like there's a lot of tray bakers out there especially but just in general um but there's a lot of them that don't put any drizzle on and I don't really see many like I'm not saying I'm the only one but when it comes to brownies and stuff a lot of people don't put drizzle because then you have to wait for it to actually harden before you can package it and it will smudge whereas most people just leave the drizzle off because then it's easier when you're posting them but i just like the way it looks so i always add drizzle so the decoration is fine the flavors i've got them all written out um i'm doing a slightly more refined flavor list for brownies and for blondies because i think i've just got way too many <coughs> um so yeah i want to do more refined flavors between usually it's gonna stick around six but because we have easter there are gonna be cream egg and mini egg which are gonna be extras but they won't be like always there whereas i think at one point like i've taken them all off now but at one point i had like 15 plus flavors of brownie and like stocking all that chocolate is so much hassle because you always need to have it in stock in case someone orders it very last minute so it's just a massive pain but yeah really like how those have turned out so i'm really happy with it um i had a bit of fluff on there um but yeah i'm gonna eat the rest of that because that's really good that is really good so this is um caramel which is rollo and dairy milk caramel then we have jammy dodger um, there's going to be Kinder and Nutella because I feel like that is a staple. Um, and then, what was the other one? I think it was Oreo. I was going to do Oreo, but I'll check my list. Um, and then brownies will have different flavours. There'll be a couple of staples. 
oh biscoff for the blondie because biscoff is a staple um but the brownies are going to have slightly different flavors but like i say there will be staples so biscoff and kindra nutella will be the same in blondies and brownies because i feel like they are a fan favorite just in general they're just popular flavors um and that will be the same for the cookies there are going to be biscoff and then um there's not going to be kinder and nutella yet um but there is going to be biscoff chocolate cookies and oreo chocolate cookies because i feel like again they're popular flavors and then it will just be the cookie dough and the cream egg for the stuffed ones at the moment um so yeah that is the update on that so they look really good Oh, I wanted to show you my little cookies. I left them in for a minute too long, which I think has made a difference. Um, so, again, they might look different, um, but it's definitely an improvement. I feel like I still would have liked to put them in the freezer. They looked perfect when they had um, four minutes left. Like, if I could have taken them out then, but they would not have been cooked. Um, but... They looked like they were the perfect mountain. They were a little mountain and they were so cute. But they're a little bit flatter now, but still bigger than normal cookies. So I'm going to go and get them so I can show you. Look at them. They are still little mountains. Um, can I lift you up or are you fragile? The cookie dough is a bit fragile. See, he's a little mountain. And then they got cookie dough in the middle. Um, but if anyone has any tips, because the cookie dough, obviously, the reason you put it in the freezer is so that it doesn't soften too much. But the cookie dough, I can feel, is quite soft. However, I assume that if I put them in the fridge, then that will harden again. So then it will be fine. Um, so I think once they're cooled, they just need to go in the fridge for a little while. Um, and then they will have drizzle on them to make them look a bit prettier because at the moment they just look like very spread big cookies. Um, but yeah, I'm very pleased with them considering they were a second round and technically they're the first try because the, the first try that I actually did, I cooked them at 160, which obviously wasn't going to go well. Um, but those ones still look good. So we will see. But um, these are the cookie dough stuff ones and then the cream egg are a little bit flatter. These are the cream egg ones. As you can see, they were left in a little bit too long because they're a little bit brown around the edge. Um, but this is what they look like and I do like them. And they've got a cream egg in the middle. So, and then we have, you can actually see the cream egg on the bottom. Um, and then we have another little guy. He's more brown because he was on the, the right side of the oven, which seems to be the side that's playing up. Again, don't know why, don't know what's wrong with it. She's literally been doing it today, which is really frustrating because I have loads of cakes next week, but it's fine. So, they look really good. Everything looks really good. I can't wait to try it all. I'm gonna take photos of everything first, which is really annoying because I have to take photos and then I might not even actually like the product. Same with the brownies, the blondies, I had to take photos, but they might not actually taste very good because you can't start cutting them up until you try them. So, um, I'm gonna do the live for my mum's cake, I'm hoping, as long as they're not coming home now because one of the dogs is barking. Um, so I think I'm gonna do that live in a second. I need to make the buttercream for it. Get that out of the way, because it's I wanna do it early so that people can get on with their lives. And then um, I am gonna do the personalized brownies. So I need to take photos of them as individuals. Then I need to place them all together and do a slab. And then after that, I need to, um, I need to, what do you call it? break them up and put them into brownie jars, which is another product. So trust me, I know how to get the most out of like a brownie. <laughs> when you're trying to get product photos, I know how to get the most out of it because you can get photos of the individual, then the slab together, um, because no one will see that they're cut because it will be covered. Um, and then after that, you just cut them into smaller pieces, take all the toppings off, and then um, you can put it in your brownie jar. <laughs> Um, so that I can get photos of that as well because that's one thing that I haven't seen many of are brownie jars So I want to start offering those because I'm trying to offer things that aren't as common. So That's what we're going for. 
So, I'm going to get on with everything and I will just update you as and when. But I'm really pleased with these recipes so far. So, I will update you once I've actually tried the cookies. And then that will probably be the last thing for this video because it's already years long, honestly. I'm, I apologise. Um, and then I think... I will maybe make another little video with all the packaging and um, new postals. So yes, that is the update. So I just wanted to end off this video and just finalise everything. So I had the cookies on Sunday uh, for my mum's birthday party and I also took them into work today which is Tuesday and everyone loved them. Both occasions everyone loved them. Um, one of the favourites was the cream egg, but also everyone loved the cookie dough. Um, and then I also got good reviews for the Biscoff and Oreo stuffed. So basically all the flavours are good to go. I'm so excited. So I've announced on my Instagram, so if you follow me on there, then you'll know. Um, but we are launching the new menu this weekend. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure all the website is done um, and I need to get all my photos edited and like drafted as Instagram posts. And then what I'm going to do is from like Friday um, onwards, I'm just going to be posting about the new menu basically. Um, and I'm going to do a few sneak peeks. I've already done one sneak peek, which was a photo of the inside of two cookie dough cookies and everyone was loving it um i got a lot of messages about it and i also got lots of comments on the photo saying how good it looked so i'm really excited but cookies is just something that i haven't done before so um i feel like no one's seen it on my page so that's what i'm trying to do i want to do new stuff because i feel like that's what's gonna grab people's attention because i've been doing brownies for so long um but yeah there's so so much new stuff like literally like 10 plus products and then there's obviously multiple flavors of each product maybe there's usually i think most of them there's up to six flavors because i don't want to do too many but i also don't want to do too little um so yeah there's about five or six flavors for everything but there is just so much that is going on there so i'm so excited um but yeah i'm having an admin day on thursday so i will be updating it then and also tomorrow evening which is wednesday um i'm going to the gym but i'm off on thursday so it means i can stay up late doing a few bits in the evening and then um yeah because this cake that i did tonight is going tomorrow so that means i've got tomorrow free to do a bit of admin before thursday so yeah we have lots of cakes at the weekend so there will be some lives for that um i just need to decide which ones i'm going live for um which ones are most sort of beneficial for you to see if there's something different to what i usually do so yeah there's lots coming this week but i'm very excited i'm so excited about the postal menu february is going to be a good a good month like the podcast comes out in february um so i announced it on my instagram again but um me and lauren uh, just cupcakes by lauren my absolute fave uh, we live in the same area and we're cake friends and we went to the cake and bake show together and all of that she was in the vlog um so yeah we did the podcast and it was my first one with a guest and I literally listened back to it yesterday and I was like tearing up I'm tearing up now because it was so good like she was amazing on it and we were just bouncing off of each other and it was such a good conversation and it's literally got me so excited for the other episodes so I'm trying to line people up for um the podcast so I'm trying to get the people um the volunteered and also i want to line up a few that i want on there um some of them are bigger businesses so i'm going to really try and see if they want to do it and then hopefully um i think once lauren's episode comes out there'll be more even more interest i mean i've already got about 10 or so um accounts that want to be part of it and if you think it's only coming out every two weeks so 10 accounts is 20 weeks worth so that's already almost half a year so I want to get some more so that I have 
real like in the future and also it means if someone can't do a certain month if they can't do it for the next two months then that means i've got people lined up um because i obviously need to be doing it every two weeks so yeah if there is anyone that's interested it's small businesses cake businesses um or catering i will expand to but mainly cake and dessert then message me on instagram and just say that you wanted to talk about the podcast um because yeah i am looking for interest and yeah i'm very excited but i do want to get some big bakeries on there because i think it will be good but like i say i think once people hear lauren's they'll get an understanding of what it's going to be like so then they know what they're signing themselves up for whereas obviously lauren was my guinea pig so um she didn't get to listen to one before to see what sort of thing she was going to be asked so yeah but it was two hours and it was just such a good conversation so i'm really looking forward to actually sharing that with you that comes out on monday next week it's available on spotify and it will also be uploaded to youtube as well just in case people don't know about me on spotify but there are plenty of people that listen on there as well it just depends on your preference there won't be any video it's audio only um for now until i get a proper studio because i wouldn't want to i want to do it high quality so i wouldn't want to do um video until i have like a proper studio which probably isn't going to be for at least a year so at the moment it is audio only but yeah i hope that you enjoyed this video and i hope that you're excited for all the new things that are coming very very soon because i'm so excited um just a quick update on valentine's there are still spaces available for postal slabs so if you head over to my etsy or my website you can order a valentine's postal slab i've had loads of people asking me if they're going to arrive now they it says in the title that they arrive on the 12th of february they are not posted until the 10th of february so if you order it now it's not going to turn up tomorrow um it will turn up for valentine's it's not it's a pre-order basically so um yeah do not worry i'm not going to be sending you a valentine's slab for before valentine's basically so yeah you can go and check those out on my website and etsy and i will see you in my next video if you haven't already please like and subscribe and i am off to the gym now so i will see you later bye